and of course, naturally, it is pouring down rain. I'm gonna put my desk like right here. This was 24. Are you ready to go see your new home? Good morning, guys. It is Saturday. It is officially moving day. We just packed up car number one. Devin's packing up his car right now, but we are headed over to get our keys and see the apartment for the first time. The mover should also be coming in probably two hours or so. So I asked you guys over on Instagram if you wanted to see a separate empty apartment tour or if you guys wanted me to film like an entire move in day vlog and most of you guys said you wanted to see an entire move in day vlog so that is what today's video is gonna be somebody's already crying we're gonna head over now get the keys and see the apartment for the first time which i am a little nervous for we know the layout and everything but we haven't actually been inside that actual unit so Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's obviously in good condition. And of course, naturally, it is pouring down rain. <laughs> I told Devin, I'm like, I think it's good luck if it rains on your wedding day. So I'm just gonna say the same thing for your move-in day, but we're gonna get the keys. Are you ready to go see your new home? Huh? You wanna go see your new apartment? Okay, we just got to the apartment. I'm gonna give you guys a quick empty apartment tour. The movers actually just called me and said that they would be back at our old place in like 20 minutes. So I gotta hurry, but I'm gonna show you guys the empty apartment tour. We just walked through it and we're both really excited. It's so much bigger than the unit we have now. It's upgraded. Okay, so this is the front door. When you walk in, this is like a big office area here. This is actually going to be my office. I don't know if you guys can really see the size of it. For size context, this is how big it is. The ceilings are really big. There's lots of space. I think I'm gonna put my desk like right here. So coming from the office area, we have an entryway closet here. We can obviously just put our coats and things there. And then we do have an attached garage, which was a must for us with our Amazon business. So. This is nice, we have some storage out here. So it's nice to have that attached to the unit. So then going upstairs, this is into the main living area. So coming up the stairs, we have the kitchen and the living room, which is so much bigger than what we were expecting. I love the three windows. We have a little extra area there. I also really like these floor colors. They're a little bit lighter than the ones that we have now. And you guys, I finally have white countertops. It already feels so much lighter and brighter in here than the one we have now. So we do have dark cabinets. The dark's nice, it's a little bit different, but like I said, I'm just happy to have the white countertops again. We have our fridge over here, and then we also have a guest half bath down here, which is also much bigger than the one that we have now. So this is really nice to have on the main living area. So that way if anyone comes over and they need to use the bathroom, they don't have to like go upstairs in our room. So this is our downstairs half bath. And like I showed you guys, we have the main living area and then we go upstairs to the bedrooms. Going up the stairs, the first thing that we have, which is what we have now in our unit is a linen closet which is really nice for just extra storage for towels and everything then to the left of that this is actually Devin's office i've mentioned this in a few other vlogs but a big reason why we are moving is so that way we can have separate offices and i decided to have mine downstairs so that way when people walk in my office was the first thing that they would see my office decor just goes with our overall apartment decor a little bit more than his so his is going to be upstairs, mine is downstairs, so it's really nice that so we'll actually have our separate offices now, which I am gonna miss working next to one another, but it was just time to have our own space, especially with you know both of us being on meetings more and me filming more. It'll just be really nice to not have to schedule my filming around his meetings. So this is where he's gonna be. He has his own closet there for his clothes. And then there's also a full bath. This is the full bath in the office or the guest bedroom. The lighting in these bathrooms are so nice. I also really like these floors. I think they look really clean. They're like a 
I don't even know what this is, like a laminate, but they're pretty nice. And then the last thing I have to show you guys is the master bedroom. This is the master bath here. Once again, like I said, the lighting in these bathrooms, I'm really excited. I've been wanting to film more of like get ready with me videos or even TikToks and the lighting in our bathroom is terrible, which is why I never really film in there. But this is so nice. The mirror is so big and once again, it does have the white countertops, which I just, I'm so excited about. And the master shower is a glass sliding shower. So we will have to get a squeegee. As far as the master bedroom goes, it is a little bit smaller and we do have a king size bed. So it does need to at least fit that. And I would like to get nightstands on either side, but that's something that we're just like, once again, kind of weighing the pros and cons. There's pros of our old apartment. There's cons of our old apartment. We just decided obviously that the pros outweigh the cons here. And then this is my closet, which I'm actually pretty confused about because like this is literally not even to my shoulders. I'm probably going to have to like maybe hang another shelf up. I don't know why they hung this so low. I mean, I guess it's nice because you can like see all of your clothes a little lower, but I just think that's like weird that they didn't hang it higher. That's my closet. And then we have a nice little nook area there that will probably put Maya's bed. But yeah, you guys, this is the new apartment. What do you think your new home? Do you like it? We have so many new fields to play in, new doggy neighbors to meet, new areas to explore. It is much later. It is 8.40 now and we just finally got everything moved into the apartment. We're starting to put some stuff away. It was a little bit more of a stressful day than we had anticipated. We had a little situation with the movers, but we are here. We have everything moved in and now we are in the process of unpacking, but we're actually going to run to Target really quickly, grab a few things that we need, and then I think we're going to go get some Chipotle for dinner. So my plan for tonight is to get the kitchen and the bedroom not completely finished but at least somewhat organized so that way we can have a good place to sleep tonight and then when we come down in the morning it's not like super chaotic in the kitchen so those are the main focuses for tonight i'll show you guys the progress that we've made i am currently loading the dishwasher so that way all of our new utensils are nice and clean and we have our new pot and pan set here which we decided to switch from teflon and non-stick to stainless steel because obviously it's a little healthier and we're trying to eliminate as many plastics and chemicals as possible especially during this move this is the rug that i showed you guys on instagram it looks honestly pretty good on camera Camera, but in person it's just very warm compared to the walls and it's really yellow like I don't think it's really coming off on camera but it's pretty golden so I think we might return this and get a cream rug I'm not sure but we have the rug down coffee table and we got Lola set up in this corner here we have so much more space in this apartment we have this entire section so I think we might extend her cage out a little bit there but this is the current situation, what we're working with right now. What you got? So far, I thought this might be good to put our uh, dishwasher pods in. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. It is officially our first morning and full day in the apartment. We did make some progress last night. We were both really tired, so we went to bed pretty early, but I have my dad and my mom here helping today. Devin is running and grabbing us coffee. My dad's hanging the ceiling fan and he's also gonna mount the TV over there. And my mom's gonna help me with a lot of the kitchen organization, but I'll show you guys some of the progress that I've made so far. I put in our new um, utensil holder. We do need maintenance to come and fix this because it's a Little, it's a little wobbly and the color of the bamboo actually matches the inside of the drawer perfectly and I'm washing our utensils now and then under the sink here we have some 
of our cleaning and laundry stuff. So I got these bins from Amazon. I'll link them down below. They're actually really nice. They come in a pack of four. So we have our cleaners in here. We have some of our laundry stuff since our washer and dryers right there. And then on our counters, I also uh, unboxed and washed our new knife set. I love these. These are from Bed Bath & Beyond. They're a white and silver. And then they come in like this light oak block. I think they're so pretty. I love them. I think they look really good against the white subway tile so i cleaned those and then we cleaned our toaster so that's pretty much the progress that we've made in the kitchen the plan for today is really to get the kitchen done and i would like to get the bedrooms pretty much done at least our clothes put away so that we can actually start living in the space and then i want to work on the office because i actually have two videos filmed and ready to go i just need to edit them so i need to get my desk and computer set back up because right now it's over there on the coffee table and someone's here with some coffee thank you thank you i got a grande iced coffee and a venti cup with extra ice i've been doing this so that way it feels like I get more coffee but you pay for a grande. I got a grande iced coffee in a venti cup, extra ice, four pumps of apple brown sugar, no classic, and extra cream. Good morning guys, happy Monday. I'm actually about to get ready now for the first time. This is my first time vlogging in the bathroom. It looks so much lighter and brighter than our other apartment. It's probably a little echoey. We need to get some stuff in here, but we actually just went to our old apartment this morning and handed in our keys and officially said goodbye to it. And like I said, it's definitely bittersweet, but after being in this one and going back to that one, Devin and I were both like, whoa. This one is noticeably, it's bigger, it's nicer, it just feels better, the air feels better in here, and it's not so just old, I guess. We knew our apartment was old, but just with the air quality and everything, you can definitely tell a big difference in these. So today I'm actually going with my mom, and we're gonna go to Home Goods, Ikea, and get a bookcase for my office. So my office is downstairs. That's that's like the last room that we're unpacking and it has a big kind of like wall on the back of it and i think a bookcase along that wall would look really nice we can use it for extra storage i can store obviously all my books on it and i'll just add like some color and a good background when i'm filming and then we'll see um, what else we get into but for now i need to hurry up and get ready because i have 15 minutes My mom just picked me up. We got iced coffees. You want to say hi to the vlog, mom? from the store and I thought I would give you a haul of everything that I picked up. I think 
everything that I got besides the bookshelves are from home goods. So I'll show you guys what I grabbed. I didn't get everything that was on my list, but I do think it's a pretty good start. The first thing was not on my list, but I did get a new Ray Dunn coffee cup. This one says coffee and it has the little circles at the bottom there, which I've never seen that before. So I thought that was cute. And then I got a fruit and vegetable stand holder. One of these things. So this was $24.99. It's pretty like heavy solid wood. So I got this to sit on top of our white countertops. I picked up one of these shower liners for the guest bathrooms. It's just a plastic shower liner. This was $7.99. I also got a water bottle holder for the fridge. So you just like set this in there and you can stack water bottles. This was $4.99, so pretty cheap. Maya got new bowls, which are right here. Huh, did you get new bowls? And I thought they were perfect for this apartment. They're pretty big, but this is what they look like. They uh, have a black like metal base, and then the top is a really pretty warm wood. And then the bowls are metal with a little paw print in them. So these were a little pricier. They were $39.99 because of the solid wood. But I think that they're going to last a while. They're really good quality. And she's had hers for a few years. So I figured with the new place, it was time for an upgrade. I did also get some stuff for our bathroom. I'm not sure if this is going to go in our guest bathroom upstairs or master bath. But I did get a bath rug it's like a sage green it kind of looks more gray on camera but it's a sage green rug and it has just like a white square on it i have always gotten i think pretty much all of my bath mats at home goods just because this one was 12.99 and targets are really expensive they're like 24.99 pretty much the same quality or even cheaper i like these because they have the rubber on the back and then they're like like i said pretty thick and plush for the price so I'm thinking about doing plants in there and like some of this like warm wood color in there with the sage green I think would make it like still modern but cozy. And then I also got a laundry basket, which it's not too exciting, but I did get a black wire laundry basket. And this was, I believe, $19.99. Yeah, this was $19.99 at Home Goods. And obviously, like I said, the bookshelves, which my dad and Devin did set up one. We ended up getting two of them so that way they fill that wall a little bit more, which I think they're gonna do maybe tomorrow night and then we can start decorating it and actually getting my office together i really want to get my office together i wanted to today but especially tomorrow so that way i can actually somewhat kind of get started back on work so i'm actually going to close out this vlog here and start a new vlog tomorrow if you made it to the end of this video thank you guys so much comment down below what you guys think about this apartment so far and if you can tell a difference versus our last apartment and since the empty apartment tour was also in this video comment down below what you think about the decor and the style and if you guys have any ideas of what we should do with like this space or the office downstairs once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll See you very soon in moving vlog number three. Bye guys. Bye.